Hi guys, this is Theodora Ibekwe Oyebade, your usual host on Theodora Ibekwe Oyebade TV. Please, before we continue, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that. If today is your first time, please subscribe, share the video. This is a channel for the youth. It's educative. It's for everyone. Anyway, but with special attention to the youth. Today, I want to teach how to make unripe plantains. This is unripe plantain. You can see I'm going to make four of them. Three, four, yeah? For three people, actually. So, unripe plantain is something that is... Um, it's a food very very good for diabetics seriously i want to cook healthy today very healthy i know some people cook this plantain with a lot of oil plenty of vegetable fish meat you name it but i'm gonna do everything with moderation today so now you watch me I'm going to get the ingredients and we'll start the show. All right. So, hi guys. I'm going to explain to you how to make this um, unripe plantain porridge. You don't have to see my face, actually. Um, I've chopped the plantain into cubes, as you can see. I've got um, bell pepper. This is one bell pepper. And this is scotch bonnet and that's onions and I have uh, chopped onions as well these chopped onions I'm gonna put this one towards the end five minutes to the end of the cooking so that the aroma can really stay on the food instead of overcooking it so I'm gonna blend this bell pepper scotch bonnet onions I have already blended crayfish, which I'm going to add as well. So, right. I'm going to put everything into this, my pot right now. Add everything I have blended. Add my maggi for taste. Add salt for taste after it has boiled a little bit. And then, we take it from there. All right. So, guys, now I have to conclude cooking this unripe plantain by putting it in the pot and in the heat. Right, this is a four unripe plantain that I chopped. Yeah, four of them. I'm going to put it inside this pot. So, that's it now in the pot. It goes in the sink. Then I've got my stock, or rather my maggi for taste. So I'm adding this maggi. I'm using actually two, two maggi cubes. Yeah, you can use any one that you feel you prefer. Maybe no, I use no sometimes. I use yeah, but I, I prefer to use maggi today. So I've added maggi. I'm going to add the you know the bell pepper, the scotch bonnet. And onions, I've blended them. I'm going to add it to this. And then um, I'm going to rinse this a little bit. Because obviously it needs water anyway. So, add that there. Then, I'm going to add crayfish. The crayfish is already blended. So, it's in here. I'm just going to, you know, gauge it with my eye to see... Yeah, that's the quantity I'm using, just a little bit. Then, this is oil, palm oil. I'm going to add, mm, what is the spoon now? I'm going to add, look at this spoon. I'm going to add two spoons of this palm oil. One, two. Right. I don't want to use so much um, palm oil because, um, to be honest, you can use as much as you want or as you like. 
But I'm actually cooking this to teach people who are diabetic what to eat and how to cook it. Um, ripe plantain is good. It is rich in iron. I added crayfish, which is more like, you know, you can get some, if you use fish and all that, you can get protein. Uh, you can actually add smoked fish. Well, I'm not going to add smoked fish because obviously I'm not cooking a hotel. I'm cooking for my hobby as well. It doesn't like a lot of this, you know, smoke stuff, this smell. And you're supposed to also add um, vegetable. It could be ugu leaf, spinach, scent leaf. You need them for this. But I'm not going to put them because my hobby doesn't like vegetables a lot. It runs his tummy. So I'm not going to put it here for this particular cooking. But you need it. So put the oil and I put two spoons of this uh, oil in here palm oil because i don't want it much actually someone who is diabetic to be honest if you're cooking you shouldn't use even more than one spoon so we're trying to cook healthy right now so for the benefit of those people watching us out there who has got diabetes please do not add so much oil Use vegetable, which is good. Use smoked fish or fish or any kind of fish. Or you can actually cook it and fry fish later to eat. Or have meat or chicken on the side to garnish your food. But right now, I'm cooking. This is a strict diet I'm trying to make for diabetics. So, I've added everything. What I'm going to do now is add a bit more water and allow it to cook for like maybe 25 minutes. And when it's 5 minutes to put this food down... I will now add my chopped onions because I don't want to put it now so that it's not overcooked. Towards the end, I'll add it so that the aroma will still be there because the aroma is very nice and my hobby likes onions. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to chuck it now on the heat to cook for 25 minutes. Okay. So guys, one last thing. It's been cooking for like 20 minutes now. So what I'm going to do now is check if it's cooked. Like I said, it should cook for like 25 minutes or 30. But before it finally, finally cooked. What I'm going to do is add these onions. Because it's been cooking, I know that it should be cooked now. Yeah, I'm going to add these chopped onions so that the aroma will still be very fresh. Because if I put it if I had put it earlier, it would have been overcooked and we won't smell the aroma anymore. So now I'm going to add this. Turn it. Mm. can actually smell it now anyway. Add a little bit more water. Just a little. Because the one there already is... Um, almost dried so I've added these onions now the chopped onions just for the aroma and my hobby likes it so I'll leave it to cook for another five minutes and I'll put it down and it's cooked so this is a healthy meal for diabetic people when you're cooking it just the same way I've done it put the bell pepper blend it with the scotch bonnet onions and then crayfish put everything add water allow it to cook add uh, palm oil i use two spoons only you can use one but not a lot of oil if you're cooking healthy and when it's cooked while it's cooking you can actually add your smoked fish that you've already deboned remove all the bones and or what not in it but i didn't put that now because i'm not cooking for a visitor or for the hotel my hobby doesn't like it that much so i didn't put it you should add veg like ugu scent leaf or even spinach but i didn't put any because he doesn't like vegetables a lot but he doesn't like it because he runs the tummy so today i'm not using a vegetable is good because you will have the nutrients from it. 
the vitamins and all that the the um the unripe plantain already is nutritious as well it's very good so it's always recommended for people with diabetes so this is a healthy meal and i like to cook for five minutes and i'll put it down and that's it i'll be waiting for i'll be to come and eat okay so let's wait five minutes right guys it's been cooking now for five minutes and i'm very sure it's ready now so once i look at it now yes that's cooked for five minutes and it's ready i don't want to make this video too long so that you will enjoy it and watch it over and over again if you want to so the last time i did a video was 45 minutes a lot of people complained i was too long you know so i tried to cut it short now so this shouldn't be more than 12 minutes that should be fine so right this is the right food for diabetics like i said cook healthy not a lot of oil put vegetable if you want put smoked fish put maybe soft meat cook it very well and put it in if you like whatever you want to you can add to it but this one is strictly strictly no veg no meat no fish but it was crayfish bell pepper scotch bonnet onions blended and then chopped onions and then a bit of oil and that's it so we're good to go thank you very much for watching and i'm gonna turn this off now because it's ready that's ready so everything is off and the food is yummy yum. i can show you now actually to see that is it Look at the color of the unripe plantain because of the um, oil and the bell pepper that's why you can see that red color and that's why i use the bell pepper and um the oil it's not very not vegetable oil but palm oil to give it some color and make it look nice and appetizing so thank you guys for watching how to make unripe plantain thank you I will be back next time with another nice delicacy. If you want to try how to make it, watch it carefully and do it yourself at home. All right? That's the essence of this food that we just made so that you can learn. Thank you very much and forward it to the youths, the young boys and girls who are still learning how to cook. Thank you all and goodbye.